On the left, the planet Mars, seen by the robot Curiosity. On the right, the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. Two places with a surprising resemblance. The Atacama Desert is a playground for scientists. On little more than sunlight, tiny algae and bacteria evolved to survive in its parched earth. If they have done it here, then why not on Mars, 225 million kilometers away? If the conditions are similar and there is life here, then if there is life on Mars, it's probably very similar. Cristiana Dorador studies the DNA of those microorganisms to learn how they adapt to extreme environments. If we can understand how these microorganisms live, how they live with these rocks, how they get moisture and adapt to these conditions, then when we have information about life forms on other planets, possibly in the near future, we will have our correlate here on Earth. The robot Curiosity has been looking for life on Mars for the past four years, with no success. A new machine will join him next year to search the planet's subsoil for traces of fossil life. To study Mars is perhaps to understand how life was born on Earth. We still don't know exactly how it happened. NASA is even aiming to send people to the planet in 2030, which means a trip to the Red Planet is now more science than fiction.